Ladies and gentlemen, we have a date. We know exactly when the Vassal Hard Fork is going to happen now and take Cardano to the next level. Let's get into this. That's right, a date has been set. All the certain triggers that the teams have been waiting for, including the upgrades to the stake pools and all the nodes, the exchanges being upgraded and also the dApps being upgraded as well, has happened or at least is almost there. And now we can set a date for the Vassal Hard Fork. And I am very, very excited for this. September 22nd is the date. And in an earlier announcement today, from Charles himself, he announced the date and we are all extremely excited for this to happen. Uh, all the teams got together today with the CF, uh, talked to a lot of different people, uh, looked at the rate of progress with the SPOs, the DAP developers and the exchanges. And we now have an official date for the Vossel Hard Fork Combinator event, September 22nd. What's so amazing about that date is it randomly and just so happenly falls on the Independence Day of Bulgaria. As you know, the Vossel Hard Fork is named after Vossel. Uh, he is a uh, Bulgarian, was a Bulgarian mathematician uh, who is a good friend of our ecosystem. He spent his life planting over 10,000 trees uh, and uh, he recently perished uh, and, and we decided to honor him by naming the Hard Fork after him. Uh, and it just random luck that uh, it fell on the Independence Day of Bulgaria. How about that? Now, what were those triggering events? Now, if you're in the Cardano ecosystem, if you've been following along, you'd know because we've been pressuring exchanges and dApps and everyone else in the ecosystem to upgrade and get ready for this hard fork. But if you're not, like at the meetup last Wednesday at uh, in Brisbane here in Australia, a lot of people didn't know what was required and what had to happen for this hard fork to be triggered. So let's go through the blog post that IOG put together. And this is the blog post that they uh, announced so that we could have a better understanding of how the test net environment works, how we're supposed to progress through and test these things. And also, so more importantly, the three triggers that were needed to get the hard fork happening. Now, the very first one up here at 75% of the main net blocks being created by the final Vassal Node candidate version uh, 1353. Now, this one was actually really quick and I'm not surprised because the staple operators on the network are very agile. They can move into position and have these upgrades done really quickly and easily. And we can see here from this uh, pie chart, the, the, these pie charts flowing around everywhere, that the uh, blocks that are produced per hour on the hourly basis have reached that 95% mark. So that's almost all of the blocks being produced being that uh, scalable smart contract block uh, for the Vassal Hard Fork, which is really, really cool. Now, if you wanted to actually have a look and see this data for yourself, the website is pooltool.io. This is a new version of the site as well, which is really cool. And you can find and drill down to all this data yourself. So you can see here the blocks. So last epoch, the last five days, we saw 95% of the blocks go through. And if we go just the last hour here, 94% of the blocks are Vassal ready. So that is a really good indicator. And I'm so proud of the Cardano uh, state pool operators for flipping this over and turning that around as quickly as possible. So that's absolutely brilliant. And you can see uh, the general network health and everything else around it on this page as well. So it's a really cool website. I've been using this one for ages and this brand new version of the website as well is pretty slick. So uh, kudos to the team at pooltool.io. I loved this site from day one when I first saw it and these upgrades and updates are absolutely absolutely amazing too. Now the next trigger that was needed was the exchanges. So approximately 25 exchanges needed to upgrade, which accounted for 80% of the ADA liquidity. And if we go down here now, so we look at the, maybe the top ones here. So these ones here, so top 12, according to CoinGecko here, these were the ones that really needed to upgrade. And the main ones here that we can see, Binance, obviously one of the biggest exchanges in the world, they're nearly there. And we also see Upbit, uh, M MXC, I, yeah, 
I've always had problems working out how to say that name. Like I have to jump on an interview or something and get it right. BitTrue and then of course Coinbase, which everyone was giving them grief for. They now have that status in progress, which means they're finally putting their uh, nodes and putting it, getting them upgraded. So I'm, I'm really excited to see that. And of course, all these other ones here as well, uh, they're going through the process. A few there that have still not started yet. Now, there have been a lot of negative I'd say the slightly negative or encouraging um, tweets that have been going out there targeting these various exchanges saying, when upgrade, come on, upgrade, Re really encouraging them. I kind of felt it was kind of like aggressively attacking them. So I put a tweet out there now to thank the ones that have uh, nearly upgraded or in progress, the ones that are ready as well, so that it flips that uh, conversation on its head and thanking the exchanges for helping the Kadana community progress to the Vassal Hard Fork. So if you wanna retweet that and like it, links are down below for you too. Now the last trigger that we needed to do here was the dApps. So the top 10 dApps by TVL confirming that have upgraded to uh, the version 1.35.3, so that Vassal version. Now I haven't been able to find all the tweets and all the comments from all the teams, but let's just have a look at which ones they are first. So according to DeFi Llama in terms of uh, TVL, total value locked, we're looking at MinSwap, Ring Riders, Sunday Swap, Meld, uh, technically they're uh, on staking, uh, Musi Swap, Revutu, Vi Finance, Adex Pro, AADA, Lending Pond. So they're the ones, uh, top ones by TVL. If I take off staking and just go, let's take that one off. Off, clear that the rankings change slightly but they're pretty much the same ones there as well so if we get at least these top five uh, confirming that they've um, updated and ready for the vassal hard fork we should be good to go as well so we know that their uh, their dexes etc are working properly now I have been able to find some comments from these teams saying that they're ready for the vassal hard fork the min swap team fantastic awesome you know i love you guys uh, they're ready for vassal and also the sunday swap team have also reported that they're going through the test net or now that's called preview not test net anymore because the test net doesn't work with vassal but the preview environment is where they're going through at the moment and they're progressing through that uh, those various stages and i also found in their monthly update with pi going through and he talks about the particular update and everything around it. So let's have a quick listen to what they're doing. We've been hard at work this last month, making sure that the Sunday Swap protocol will be ready for this event. While the on-chain contracts won't be changing anytime soon, a lot of the off-chain infrastructure we built or depend on needs updating as well. For example, the serialization format of the transactions is slightly different, and so that code needed to be updated as well as different systems needed to be updated to understand things like collateral outputs. As a result, we were able to pay down a large amount of our technical debt in this area. And as a result, our transactions are slightly smaller, our fee estimation is more accurate, and we managed to slip in hardware wallet support. So it's awesome that they managed to get back in there and reduce some of their technical debt as well. It really means that they're improving on the decks continuously, updating their code and making things better and better. So congratulations to the Sunday Swap team as well. You guys are obviously almost there too. So I'm really excited about all of that and everyone else that is building in the Cardano ecosystem. Now, if you want to learn more about the Vassal Hard Fork, what's in it, why it's so important and how it makes Cardano just that much better, I did an interview with Ben Hart from M Labs. M Labs is a Haskell Plutus consulting company that has been building many of the dApps in the Cardano ecosystem. They have over 100 highly skilled engineers there and they're building a lot of the protocols, a lot of the DEXs, a lot of the dApps in the Cardano ecosystem, as well as many of these other companies that have joined in and building out this uh, entire ecosystem for the Cardano community. So it's absolutely amazing what they're doing. But in that interview, we go through the three main Cardano improvement proposals. So if you don't know about them we break it down it's not very technical and if you want to have an idea of what's going on in the Cardano ecosystem and why this upgrade is so important for the DeFi ecosystem and everything around it please check out that video links in the top right hand corner for you
All right, that's it for me. Really excited about this era. I'm so happy that this date has been announced as well. This also ties into the Australian uh, crypto convention, which is around that date as well. It's just the weekend before. So I think it's weekend after weekend of celebrating for me. I do have a boxing challenge on though, so I am being good. I am slightly bruised at the moment. My cheek is rather tender and my jaw is extremely sore. I've been used as a boxing bag at the moment. Got to work on those duck weaves and blocks. All right, that's it for me for this episode. If you really enjoyed this type of content, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you hear more great Kadana content from me soon. See ya. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast Gotta get it hype, crypto is what we like But this is not investment or financial advice Gotta do your research, cause it's risky, we know it is This show is educational and it's informative Crypto's the future, really it ain't no debate